Here is the information for curve sketching and all the ways you can learn about the function before graphing or in order to graph. For the domain, restrictions to the domain include any zeros of the denominator. Holes are denominator restrictions from the original function which are no longer restricted in the reduced function. Vertical asymptotes are denominator restrictions from the reduced function. X-intercepts make y equal to zero and solve for x. Y-intercepts let x equal zero and solve for y. End behavior, either a horizontal or a slant asymptote, maybe two horizontal asymptotes. If your function is rational, here's what we know about horizontal asymptotes, but for end behavior, you can just use limits at infinity. Even or odd helps for vertical asymptotes and x-intercepts or holes on the x-axis to help us know what the behavior is. We're going to give the domain, reduce the function if possible, find the vertical asymptotes, holes, and in behavior and in behavior asymptote for the following. So I'm going to factor to see if this one is able to reduce. And no, it is not. So the domain is everything but restrictions of the denominator. Zero would make the denominator zero, and two would make the denominator zero, so those are my restrictions. Goes from negative infinity to zero, from zero to two, and two to infinity. Our vertical asymptotes, we do have two of them, x equals zero and x equals two. Both of those are odd. Good to know for when you're graphing. Are there any holes? Nothing reduced, so we do not have any holes. And our end behavior and end behavior asymptote. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, I know the horizontal asymptote is zero. So f of x approaches zero as x approaches negative infinity, and f of x approaches zero as x approaches positive infinity is our end behavior. The next one, I don't think we're going to be able to reduce, but at least we could see the restrictions of the denominator a little more clearly if we factor. My domain is everything except x equals negative 3. Vertical asymptotes are at x equals negative 3. And that's an even vertical asymptote. Good to know for when you're curve sketching. There are no holes because nothing reduced. It looks like here we have a slant asymptote. So the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x is basically the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x cubed over x squared. That will be positive infinity when we are going toward positive infinity, which means when we're headed toward negative infinity, f of x will head toward negative infinity. So my end behavior can be written as such, f of x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. Let's see if I can factor. So it looks like we have a hole at x equals 2. If we wanted to find the y value of that hole, we would just plug it into our reduced form of our function. I'll call it h red for the reduced version of h. Vertical asymptotes are restrictions from the denominator in the reduced form. So we do have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Our domain is everything but 2 and negative 2. For end behavior, it looks like the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, which means our coefficients will be our horizontal asymptote. 1 over 1 is 1. So our horizontal asymptote is at y equals 1, and our end behavior is going to head toward 1 in both directions.